Got a nylon nut here. Whoops. And then there's a, uh, a washer uh, and a uh, split washer to provide tension. Okay. And here's the uh, back side of the, this is the valve here for the piston. Um, and this is just the counter size. Um, and there's the uh, end of the crankshaft there. And uh, this is the drill rod. And they got a set screw in there. And then also on the piston, there's also um, a screw there. And then I got an O ring for a seal here. So that's the piston and the crank. And the cylinder. Let's see down in there. A brass cap I machined there. I'm gonna set those there. Uh, a washer. And then there's that split washer. And then there's the nylon nut. And uh, so just temporarily I put that stainless bolt in there and a piece of iron. I don't think I'll be taking this apart. It's pretty, I mean, you can if you just loosen that nut and you tap on here and it will all come apart and then uh, like I said I machined the back and I did put a little bit of a relief on the back of the, uh, the flywheel but I did leave it unmachined um, and it is out of balance so the new owner can leave it like that or the new owner can take it out machine it and make it perfect um, okay and then the inputs these are uh, 1032 bolts, which I put on the lathe and I uh, drilled the holes through and then just uh, finished them off. And I use this. This is um, gas holes uh, for our uh, RC cars. And uh, it's kind of neat. Worked out pretty well. I didn't know if I expected this, but basically you stick it on here and then you push it up on top of the threads and that gives it a little extra bite on there. So, and there's two of those and they come over here and there's uh, the port faces right there and then uh, you know so the, the this hole lines up with this hole or this hole depending on what pressure what side you put the pressure on it will make it you know go clockwise or counterclockwise all right so I'm gonna go ahead and pull us out of here a testing base There, and here, and I'm pretty sure this one won't be long enough. Well, let's take a look see here. But no, they want a little longer. Or I could cut that down, but let's see what I can see in the range of uh, stainless quarter twenty. Let me see if I get in the range a little bit longer. We've quite a selection here. Whoop. Show you. Quarter 20 stainless. And uh, I got lots of choices here. Okay, that one's just a little bit longer. I think that will probably do the trick. Maybe we'll put a washer there. Those are the quarter 20s there. And those are the, uh, what is that? I think those are 5, 16, 18. Three eighths. That's all stainless. Check down below in the description section where you can find a link to purchase this engine on eBay. Here. Just a little bit too long. So I could take some of that up in the washer. Or just uh, cut it off. And I think that's what I'll do is I'll just uh, grind that off of the grinder. Alright. Now that won't interfere with it. 
the flywheel at all. This uh, goes pretty snug on here, guys. I think this is too long. <laughs> I think I'll leave it though. Right. Now let's take a look at it all put together. up to about 8 or 9 psi and there's the steam engine that's a completed one that's the one we're building thanks for watching